Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be doing a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 teacher workshop series. It's number 44 on the CSET multi-subject math and science teacher certification exam in California. Number 44 is going to be involving uh, some pro concepts in geometry, specifically with the Pythagorean theorem. So let's look at number 44. Uh, it says here, use, it's a very common type of question. They'll give you a scenario, a real life scenario, and you're going to have to pull out you know the Pythagorean theorem um, application in the in the scenario they give. So it says use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. They give a diagram, read it over, study it, and it says gives us information on the diagram. It says main road and west road are perpendicular and intersect at points A. Cross road intersects main road at eight kilometers from point A and 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 intersects West Road six kilometers from point A. What is CB, the length of cross road? And we have some possible uh, measurements for, for CB, cross roads measurement. Now I said the Pythagorean theorem. That's A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And this is a relationship between sides of a right triangle. Now who saw the right triangle here when they were studying this? I'm hoping that most people saw the triangle. Did you see that there was that little symbol there was right? Hoping that you did. When you have right triangles, when we take the two smaller sides, A here and B here, and we square, we square them and add them up, they'll be equal to C squared. So if we know what A is and B is, we can use this formula to find out what C is. So let's do that right now. We know that a is 8, so that's 8 squared plus b is 6. 6 squared is equal to whatever c squared is. 8 squared is 64. 6 squared is 36. is equal to c squared. 64 plus 36 is 100 equals c squared. Now we could, we could, one, we could say what number do you multiply by itself to get to 100? C what number times itself gets 100, and then maybe it'd be like 10. So C's got to be 10, because 10 times 10 is 100. Or you could be like, what's the square root of 100 and the square root of C? A C squared, and you get, you know, the square root of 100 would be 10, or the square root of C squared would be C. Anyways, either way, you find out that C is equal to 10 by using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is going to come, it's going to be very, very useful for lots of problems. Now let's just review um, not just the Pythagorean theorem, but something called Pythagorean triplicates. This is, uh, for example, if you saw a triangle with sides of, let's say, uh, 4 by 3 by 8. I'm sorry, 4 by 3 by, or better yet, let's do a, a triangle, a right triangle, because it only works with right triangles, if it was 3 by 4 by 5. Well, so right triangle, we know this because when we do 3 squared plus 4 squared, it equals 5 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and 9 plus 16 does equal 25. So this is a right triangle. Well, we could have, you know, the triangle that we just had now. Uh, I know that this is, uh, I know this was an 8, but I'm going to put the 8 over here, and this let's call this a 6, and this is a 10. It's still a 6, 8, 10 right triangle. Or we could even have a larger triangle with sides of 9, 6, uh, 12, and 15. If we did the Pythagorean theorem, we did 9 squared plus 12 squared, it would equal 15 squared. 9 squared is 81 plus 144. 15 squared is what? 15 squared is 225. 81 plus 144 is 225. So, so what I've just done is I've shown three different Pythagorean triplicates. Three triangles, uh, a 3, 4, 5, a 6, 8, 10, 
and a 9, 12, 15 triangle that follow, that are called Pythagorean triplicates because when they, when you use the Pythagorean theorem, these tr these pat this pattern here forms right right degree tri right degree triangles. Why is this helpful to know? Because if you see a, a triangle with sides of eight and six, the hypotenuse is going to be a ten because it's a six eight ten right triangle. And if you can memorize these first three um, Pythagorean triplicates, it's going to save some time on a lot of beginner and intermediate math problems involving um, triangles and the Pythagorean theorem. Hmm, hoping this helps. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Anyways, team, the answer is B. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.